I can <clears> take it. Let's have it. In the UK, well, throughout the world, I, I, I suppose, really, we're ruled by fear. Our governments create fear. People are frightened of losing their jobs. They work longer hours. They're frightened of, of, of not being able to uh, have free expression. They're frightened of, of, of not being able to protest. And I think this is what the government play on. Yeah. They need to be more frightened of fracking than they are of the government. Yeah. Because fracking is a killer. It kills people. And I'm frequently accused of being a scaremonger. But my firm belief is that if we don't create fear of fracking, then the government and the, 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 the operators will just push it through and then our 65% of our country will be industrialized with fracking rigs or frac natural, yeah. ga natural gas supply wells. It, those wells leak. You've only got to look at the, the evidence from the USA and Australia, particularly Australia, where there are wells leaking in people's backyards. There are wells exploding in people's backyards. The emergency services don't know how to deal with it, so they leave it alone and they, they let it burn. And of course, it's being burned. It's, it's gas that's coming up under pressure that's being burned. So there's more methane being released into the air there's more radon being released into the air and there's more carbon being released into the air. None of it is good. None of it is good. We don't need this. We don't need the destruction of our environment, particularly not in a densely populated country like the UK. Mm.